Hey, what is up you guys? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Josh and I'm a makeup artist from New York. I have a brand new video for you guys today. Today we are going to be doing the horoscope makeup challenge inspired from Nikki Tutorials and I think James Charles did it too. Um, yeah, my birthday passed already. My birthday was in February, February 27th, but I am a Pisces. I don't know like everything about it. I've read some things, but today we're going to be like um, reading like the characteristics stuff in between while doing my makeup and stuff like that but i know that pisces are like intuitive and creative i've heard that too and like it's the two fish like um facing the opposite directions that's all i know a lot of people think it's always the cancer one sometimes i think it's the cancer one because the cancer one is like that and then the pisces one is like that it's kind of similar a little bit and even the signs are similar because we're water but whatever i'm not a cancer i'm a pisces <laughs> but i don't know like i don't know a lot of pisces i feel like like in my real life i don't meet a lot of people who are pisces like i am i feel like i just meet people i don't know i don't know what i meet people but i don't meet a lot of pisces that's all i know but a lot of people that I follow that are famous that I really like, like Bad Bunny, um, Ariana Grande, who else? Rihanna, Beyonce, these are all Pisces. I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on this, but I think they're all Pisces, all these creative ass people, and a lot of makeup artists. Oh, I think Nikki's a Pisces too. A lot of makeup artists tend to be Pisces too, which is super creative. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, besides that, there's not much else to say. I think my sun is pisces my moon is leo and i don't know my rising <laughs> i'm not an expert i'm not a zodiac zodiologist <laughs> i don't know what the hell that word is <laughs> but anyways if you guys are ready to hear some facts about pisces and watch me put some makeup on make sure to keep on watching <laughs> We are going to be doing similar to what pretty much what Nikki did on her channel because she's a Pisces and I really like the look she did. So she was saying since Pisces are like fish, she wanted to do something like mermaid kind of inspired. But let's get into primer first because like Nikki says, not to prime is a what? Crime. So let's prime. <laughs> I'm going to go in with the Benefit Professional Primer. This is the Hydrate Primer that we got in the Boxy Charm. Guys, remember if you can try to use a primer some people think it's a gimmick and they say like you know it doesn't really do anything but honestly i think it really does make a difference between a perfect flat application and a like not good flat application if you know what i mean but yeah let's go into the next step so apparently the pisces colors are purple violet sea green lilac and mauve <laughs> i'm pretty sure so we're gonna be trying to use those colors to inspire look and probably some other ones because we're not just gonna stick them to those colors obviously <laughs> of course i did go ahead and prime my eyes with the mac painterly paint pot we're gonna be doing it a little bit different i'm gonna do it with the one eye done first and then i'm gonna do the other eye with you guys so you guys can see what it's gonna look like and then see step by step i like that i'm gonna see how i like that okay i'll be right back <laughs> all right you guys see what i achieved look at this <laughs> No, but all right, so we're trying out this new thing where I have the look on one eye So now I'm gonna show you guys How can you achieve this and then we're gonna finish off the rest of the face Once we do the eyes and then I do everything else and then we'll do the under eyes. But yeah, let's go in So one you need 10 million brushes. No, I'm joking <laughs> But you do need a few. I'm not gonna lie. So first I'm gonna go in with my Scott Barnes number 62 brush and I'm gonna go into the James Charles X Morphe palette and we're gonna dip into this this tealish color right here and we're just gonna put that all over the um, we're gonna buff it into the crease basically you'll see because then we're gonna cut it regardless but yeah let's go in so right now I'm just buffing that blue or teal whatever you want to call it into my crease right now and I'm kind of just getting it deeper and exactly kind of where I want it because I'm pretty sure this is a pressed pigment. You're not going to achieve the dark pigmentation I have here because I went in with another brush, which I'm going to show you guys. But we're just getting like the form of the wisp and everything like that. All right. Okay. Yeah. It's 12.32 a.m. 
and I'm eating cotton candy and making this video. I don't know, just making more videos all the time and like doing new stuff just like makes me feel like, well, cause I see stuff and I'm like, I can't do that shit. But then I try and I'm like, I can't do that shit. So the more you know. So now I'm gonna go in with my Morphe M124 and I'm gonna start creating the wing for the blue. You can go in with the same brush I was using before. I just like a little bit more precision when I come when it comes to a wing. So I'm just gonna do this. It's very hard to talk when doing a wing. Now I'm just building up the color where I want more intensity with that same brush. So now that I have the intensity where I've wanted it, I've started to clean up just even the tail end of it with um, the painterly paint pot. In my opinion, the most difficult part is getting the wi the wings to match. Which I'm gonna give up right there. Put down. All right. So now that we have these wings put down, now we're just gonna take that same brush from before and I'm gonna buff out the top of this so it's not as harsh. Okay, so now that's blended out. So now we're gonna go into the Jeffree Star Bloodless palette. I'm gonna dip into that shade, the take the crown, and I'm gonna put that on the inner corner. So I'm just gonna take a Morphe 321 brush. So pigmented and now we're just going to take the shade right next to it wet jewel and we're just going to top it off with that so now we're just going to take the mac painterly paint pot again and i'm just going to cut the whole crease and continue with that wing at the end So I've cut the crease. So now we're gonna go in again with take the crown up to like about where the arch of my eyebrow begins. So like right here. And I'm gonna go in with that um, M321 brush again. It picks up the take the crown really, really good. So now that I've put take the crown on the lid, I'm going to I'm gonna take that Morphe 124 brush and I'm gonna dip into Vivid Mood in the Bloodlust palette and I'm gonna darken the inner third of my eye with this shade. <laughs> That's that. So it's like not super noticeable, but it's just like that detail that like adds that more depth and dimension to the look. So now with the same 321 brush, I'm gonna go into Beauty Sleep and I'm gonna finish off the rest of so under the blue wing I'm gonna finish off Beauty Sleep as like another layer of wing as you see here It's right in between Beauty Sleep and the purple wing Now once we've done all those steps you quit no I'm joking so now I'm gonna go in with my scalp punch number 59 brush and I'm gonna dip into blood queen and I'm gonna create that wing you would usually want to use like a liquid lipstick to do this but i don't have a straight purple liquid lipstick so blood queen will suffice for now this is going to be the hardest thing to get this wing to match this wing this will be the third wing will we get this that's the real question okay so there it is i mean what else is there to say if i could do it you could do it <laughs> i freaking like it so much it's so cool we got that that green, that violet, that lilac, that purple. We used all the colors, but we're gonna use more. Don't worry, there's more to come. So now let's do the base of the face so we can finish off the rest and we'll do some Pisces characteristics and traits and we'll read them off as I go doing the base and see like if I agree with them, I guess or not. <laughs> I don't know if they're me, <laughs> but yeah, let's do it. So right before we go into foundation, it says here, Pisces is the 12th and final sign of the Zodiac calendar. Like Scorpio and Cancer, Pisces is a water sign. However, Pisces are known for generally being more laid back and agreeable than their other water counterparts. I, yeah, I think I'm pretty laid back and agreeable. All water signs though are known for having strong feelings and occasionally being wishy-washy. Pisces personalities are known for being one of the most empathetic of the zodiac signs and they'll do whatever they can to make sure the people around them are happy. They're also artistic and use their vivid imaginations to think of ideas many others wouldn't. Oh, I like that. I am super empathetic to a lot of people. I don't know why I'm like that. I don't know. But I guess it's because I'm a Pisces, apparently. <laughs> 
But anyways, let's go in with the Bobby Brown foundation and we're going to use this as usual and put this all over. And now we have the foundation all over our face. I freaking love this freaking foundation. It's really, really nice. The Bobby Brown one. Now we're going to go in with the Il Maquillage concealer. Okay, I'm really liking this concealer with this foundation. They're really going well together. Ooh. Next, I'm just going to set my face. All right, so far, it's looking really, really nice. We just set our face. So now, of course, let's go in with the Marc Jacobs Coconut Tan Bronzer. Creative. Pisces are known as the most artistic of all zodiac signs, and they frequently express their creativity in everyday life. They have strong imaginations and their reputation as dreamers can help them when they pursue hobbies such as art, music, writing. They aren't as bound by logic as many other signs, and their openness to new ideas allows them to explore creative avenues others may overlook or dismiss as impractical. I, I highly agree. <laughs> I'm like, no, not me. I'm like, nope, I'm not artistic. I suck at art. I can't draw. I wish I could paint. <laughs> I've been obsessed with this freaking bronzer ever since I got it. I can't put it down. I don't even think I could get another bronzer ever think I've got this one. <laughs> Just look at my cheekbones after I've used it. It's incredible. Next, I'm going to go into the Scott Barnes Cheek and Chic blush palette and I'm gonna go in with my Scott Barnes number 64 brush and I'm gonna dip into sweet cheeks as usual next let's go into some highlight <laughs> we're gonna go into the Jaclyn cosmetics highlighter I'm gonna dip into iced and use the Scott Barnes number 66 brush Love this highlighter, makes my skin look like glass, seriously. Let's read another Pisces fact, let's see. Now it says negative Pisces traits, let's see. <laughs> Ooh. Closed off, even though Pisces will spend a lot of effort taking care of people, they often have a hard time accepting help from others. This is partly because they often feel misunderstood or that people don't take the time to understand them the way they take the time to understand others. Also, because Pisces are so trusting and generous, they can be they can be taken advantage of and it can be very difficult for them to get over being treated badly. If they're hurt often enough, Pisces may begin to close themselves off as a method of self-protection. Pisces feelings are already strong enough and they don't need them toyed with by people who don't have their best interests at heart. I'm not gonna lie, I do tend to be like closed off at times when stuff like that happens, but why are they calling me out? <laughs> I just can't do makeup not to be added during this video. <laughs> Let's go into the next step. So I've just took in Blood Queen and I've started blending it out on the lower lash line with the Morphe M231. And now you see how there's just a little bit of space left. Then we're going to take that same Morphe M231 brush. We're going to dip back into Beauty Sleep and we're just going to finish that off to brighten up the inner corner. Then with a little pointer blender like this, this one's a Real Techniques brush, you're just going to dip back into Blood Queen and just going right under that beauty sleep we just put to almost create some more dimension don't blend over it but just right under i'll show you guys this is a trick nikki recommended on her channel so they're almost like fusing like that you see i really like that that's really nice so i'm just gonna do the other eye off camera next going back into the james charles palette i'm gonna take a morphe m433 brush and we're just gonna dip into skip very very lightly because it is a pressed pigment pink and that's scary and we're just gonna create almost like a tear like pink going down in the center of the look okay so while trying to do the teardrop pinks, it got kind of clowny, but we're just gonna go with it now, I guess. It's not what I was going for exactly, now it looks kind of clownish, <laughs> but it's okay. I like it. I like how it came out. Alright, now we're just gonna do some mascara, some lashes to finish off the look, and a lip, and yeah, we're done.
Okay, so I got the lashes on off camera. So this is the look thus far. Now we're just going to do some famous people who are Pisces. First, we have Justin Bieber. I think, I, I knew he was a Pisces. Millie Bobby Brown is a Pisces too. Camila Cabello. Rihanna, I said it, I said it. Oh, Stephen Curry. Victoria Justice, the girl from uh, Victorious. <laughs> Adam Levine. Albert Einstein. Simone Biles. And that bunny, hey, Steve Jobs. Who else, who else, who else? And Nikki Tutorials. Ah, lit, okay. All right, so let's finish off the look. Let's just do a lip. So we're going to do a pretty nude lip. I'm gonna go in with Dream Date from ColourPop Cosmetics. This is a lippy stick. So we put some of that nude on the outside. And now we're gonna go in with Parachute from ColourPop Cosmetics and we're just gonna put that on the inner of the lip. And that gives that like flesh, like mermaid flesh like look on the lips. Ooh, I freaking love it. And I put some Jeffree Star Cosmetics, um, what is it called? Extreme Frost off too to finish it. Ooh, I'm gonna put the pictures up on Instagram, of course, after this video. But damn, I really popped off on this makeup challenge. I'm trying to do more makeup challenges, of course. And I think videos are coming Saturday and in style as well. But yeah, this this was an awesome makeup challenge. I'm not gonna lie. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning right now, and this took forever. But I really, really, really do like this look. Even though I kind of ruined it with the pink and made it look a little clownish. <laughs> oh, God. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys check out my podcast, Think of the Podcast. The link will be in the description down below. We have a brand new episode every single week. And I also have merch coming out, Think of the Merch. It will also be in the link in the description down below. That is coming out very, very soon. I'll let you guys know as soon as that drops. I'll catch you guys in the next one, though. Stay safe, guys. Bye.